guys, Angel from Nobleman's Apothecary, Nobleman's Exchange on YouTube. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for joining me again. Today I'm going to be doing another update on one of my previously reviewed boots. Uh, this one was about 14 months ago, so it's been long awaited and definitely gave me more time to give you a, a just a good, good solid review on these boots. Here they are. These are the NYX Urban Loggers in natural wax flesh. I have these with the moderate last, obviously the six inch with the cut top brass hardware. And I've outfitted these with, as I do with any of my lace up boots, with a pair of Pisgah Range Limited laces. This is their rust color. And obviously they have the brass aglets to match the brass hardware. So, uh, yeah, here they are. These are 14 months old. They've been put through their paces. They've been taken on countless numbers of camping trips. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple of wheeling trips. And um, they definitely held up. I mean, they really, they really have just done great as an all-around boot. A um, little less dressy, a little more casual, a little more rugged. Um, Natural Wax Flesh is a great color. It's like any wax flesh product from Horween, they are versatile, durable, and very forgiving. That's what I say about all wax flesh products. Um, just because you have, you have a handsome color, you know, whatever color you choose, and uh, they break in very interestingly. They, they patinate very well, and the wax coating on the top just adds another layer of durability to them. They, they're very forgiving, like I said, scuff, abrasion resistance like any rough out, but that wax just adds a little bit more uh, color retention, keeps, as you can see, there is a little bit of denim crocking, but not as much as you would if this was just a regular rough out natural wax flesh, or natural uh, rough out flesh leather. <laughs> um, so yeah, six inch top, cut, six inch shaft, cut top, pull loops, uh, what I would change is instead of getting the moderate last, I'd go for the 55 last, which I've done in my Roberts, and I've learned that those are my, those are the best fitting last for my feet. Um, I have pretty high arches, so that the 55 last just does great for me. Uh, the pull loops on a six-inch boot, I don't find pull loops to be very necessary. Um, I'm sure other people maybe differ from that, but. Uh, I find it that the the six inch top boots with a pull loop kind of just gets in the way if you're you know if you have a, a a certain cuff length that you like to keep if you don't like the stack look if you like your you know your cuff of your pants to just sit nice and your pant legs just sit straight um, the pull loops just kind of get in the way so I I recommend if you're doing a six inch boot um, and you have the option to uh, I'd stay away from the pull loop if you really, really don't need it, because your foot is not going to have, you know, really any problem going in through that, uh, the throat of that boot, on a six inch. So that being said, I am sweating profusely. It's humid, hot and humid this year, uh, this summer of 2021 out in Arizona. So, pardon me. And don't you worry, just a little bit of sweat. And then wrong sweat a little bit. <laughs> so yeah, these these boots are really good. Uh, just a great all around, very versatile, and it's a neutral color. The natural wax flesh is just a very beautiful neutral color. It's very handsome, and um, it just goes. It's 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 hard to not you know put these on and and just it's hard to not appreciate them just for what they are. They're overbuilt. Um, you know, and they're just, they're meant to handle whatever you got. Like, what do you got? These are going to handle them. <laughs> sure, if you're not out there uh, fighting wildfires, you know, granted, these would do a hell of a job uh, as compared to many other boots that are not wildland firefighter boots. But that's a whole other story. What am I talking about? Um, okay, so with natural wax flesh or any wax flesh boots, I, you know, I have two pairs of wax flesh boots, two different colors. Um, for those two pairs, I love the boots so much that 
You know, you can't really just go and get a, a belt that matches natural wax flesh or brown wax flesh. Um, I, in my last video, my Roberts update uh, video, I talked about brown leathers and how versatile they are. And, um, you, you know, you don't always have to get the exact color leather uh, of a brown boot. You can get any any brown color and they're going to complement. Because if they don't match, they will complement each other. So I, I talked about how the natural edge, uh, you would, if you're looking for a belt, the Honey Hand belt is a great contender for any boot that has uh, a natural colored edge so on the sole and so yeah so what i've been doing is i've been putting a lot of time the last few months i've been i've been taking uh, you know, a little bit of r d and just uh developing designing and developing leather a leather that's custom dyed to match your natural wax flesh and your brown wax flesh so now that we're talking about natural wax flesh i'm going to show you guys the cottonwood belt the Cottonwood Belt is my iteration of natural wax flesh. This is a, a truly veg tan leather. It's the rough outside. It's dyed to match your natural wax flesh product. Okay? So it will patinate very similar to it. Now, that being said, regular Horween uh, leather is a chrome tan leather. So there's slight variations. And it will patinate a little, not exactly the same, but pretty damn close. Now this leather is, uh, this is a 13 to 14 ounce, just like any of my heavy duty belts. Uh, my x -Solution belt, my cream belt, my, uh, my Wildwind belt, my Ironwood belt, the Overland belt. These belts are, are definitely going to last. Um, they probably last as long as these boots. So, um, yeah, so the Overland... Um, the cottonwood belt, the cottonwood colorway, you know, I've, I've got the matching cottonwood color Atrapa Swingos hat band here. And this is just an old Stetson that I found on eBay for like 11 bucks and I cut down the brim so it's not even four inches right now. And so it's, uh, it's just a nice hat to, to kind of keep me cool out in the sun. Um, but I wear it a lot. So again, with neutral colors, this is like the, like a cream color. Um, and so, yeah, the, uh, the neutral colors just kind of, they vibe together. They go well together. And so the antique brass hardware goes very well with the brass aglets on the pisgalaces, the brass eyelets and uh, speed hooks on the NYX boots. Um, however, and I just had a conversation with the customer yesterday, Paul Bass, shout out to you brother, had a great conversation, great meeting you um, and talking. We had a conversation for about 10 minutes. Uh, he was, I guess he watched my Roberts video and he had to have the Overland belt. So he's ordering an Overland belt, but he wanted me, he wanted to know if I could uh, replace the brass buckle for a nickel buckle. Absolutely, guys. If you see a belt on Nobleman's Apothecary website and you want to change a small detail about it, there is a there is a uh, spot on the website that says contact. That takes you to my email. Ask any questions. Let me know your thoughts, uh, questions, concerns. Shout out to me. Um, I'll be more than happy to help you out. So yeah, I told him, I was like, absolutely. If you have a nickel buckle, if you want a nickel buckle, that's no problem, no extra charge, you know? Um, so it's essentially the same buckle, it's just in a different color. So um, yeah, so I mean, this is the update video for my Urban Loggers boots, uh, six inch top, cut top. Um, they're great all around. I've poured, I've done some concrete work in these. I extended my, my uh, I opened up my RV gate from eight, eight foot to nine foot. Um, I, I built my whole, my dog run on the side of the house for the kids, for the dogs, my, my furry, my furry kids. Um, you know, we put a chain link fence, four foot chain link fence all the way around. Tons of concrete that had to get poured for that. Extended the sidewalk and the, so there's tons of concrete pouring and mixing and getting concrete on these and just rinsing them off before the concrete set. That's really all we did, and there really is no sign of that, of, you know, concrete stains or anything. I did 
I also did some of that work. I did it in a pair of uh, natural veg tan leather boots. And those things got stained like crazy. And so, um, but that's just me. I wear whatever boots I want to wear whenever. I don't care. That boots are for, you know, wearing. Not really for staring. So, um, yeah, the Honey Lug Sole, they're great. Be the Honey Lug Sole is great because it adds a little, it adds tons of grip. But it also adds a little more sock absorption than your typical black lug sole. So they're a little bit softer compound, which is great. Um, and they, they, they last longer than your Christie sole. So you get the benefits of kind of both. You get more grip, but you also get shock absorption. So that's, that's great. The, these NYX Urban Loggers in Natural Wax Flesh, it's just a neutral. It's like everything about it is neutral and just easy going. These boots are going to just... They're just going to do what you want. They're going to do what you want them to do. They're going to. Um, now, sure, they're going to stick out like a sore thumb if you want to wear khakis and kind of go to a dress, you know, semi-casual, semi-formal, uh, you know, occasion. Um, but that being said, these boots are just great. Uh, they're great for, uh, great for most things. So um, I have no regrets in getting these. They've held up great. I do recommend getting yourself a pair of NYX Urban Loggers just because they're great for camping. They're great for hiking. They're great for work. Um, and anything you have to do around the house. Get rid of those New Balances, those dad shoes. Dude, those things are disgusting, bro. Get yourself a pair of NYX Urban Loggers um, and you, you won't regret it, okay? So sizing, as far as sizing is compared... Uh, I would compare these to like a, a pair of uh, Red Wing Iron Rangers. Um, same size, 11 and a half D in Iron Rangers, 11 and a half D in these. Uh, half size down from your Brannock size. If you don't have some extremely, you know, unique shapely, shaped feet, I wouldn't bother with Nick's uh, custom sizing. Just because, uh, for one, most people have a nice nicely shaped foot that Nyx's leather is going to, you know, form to your foot. And, um, yeah, so uh, the Nyx Urban Loggers, 14 months old, great for, I'd say, 98% of occasions, you know. Obviously, you're not going to wear this to a business dinner. You're not going to wear this to a wedding. Um, but anything else, man. Rock these, rock these, and don't baby them. The, the wax flesh uh, is just, like I said, versatile, durable, and very forgiving, okay? If you have any questions, throw them down in the comments. If you have any concerns, throw them down in the comments. If you guys want to uh, just chat it up, get down in the comments, and let's talk about these next urban loggers. Do you have any questions for me? reach out uh, I'm here for you guys so um, these boots these these boot reviews they're for you guys okay so I'm here to answer your questions let me know um, yeah man give me some time to check them out Well, that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. Uh, Angel from Nobleman's Apothecary. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay noble, stay safe, and shop small. Deuces.